Hello and welcome to today's daily message. It is the custom of those who attend morning mass on Fridays that we pray for those who are deployed. And so today I want to offer these prayers for the men and women of our parish and of our country who are deployed at the present time. And so we pray for our commander in chief, President Trump, and our political and military leaders that they may tirelessly seek peaceful settlements to international disputes. We pray to the Lord that the Lord may preserve the members of our Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, and Air Force from all harm. We pray to the Lord that even in war, we may keep clearly before us the defense of all human rights, especially the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, we pray to the Lord. That the families, relatives, and friends of our military members may be strengthened in this time of concern and anxiety, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord may help families with, with men and women in the armed forces to cope with daily challenges in the absence of their loved ones, we pray to the Lord that our homeland will be preserved from violence and terrorism, we pray to the Lord. That the nations of the world will seek to work together in harmony and peace, we pray to the Lord. That the hearts of all men and women will be moved to pursue true peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. That violence may be overcome by peace, that weapons of destruction be transformed into tools of justice and hate give way to true charity, we pray to the Lord. That grateful for and inspired by those veterans who have given their lives for our country, we may bravely face the challenges ahead, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, Almighty Father, creator of humanity and author of peace. As we are ever mindful of the cost paid for the liberty we possess, we ask you to bless the members of our armed forces. Give them courage, hope, and strength. May they ever experience your firm support, gentle love, and compassionate healing. Be their power and protector, leading them from darkness to light. To you be all glory, honor, and praise, now and forever. Amen.